back to the GT test automation channel Java interview questions and answers video series. Today we will going to look at to the our next question is how to avoid a null pointer exception in core Java. This is a uh, pretty much uh, uh, simple j core Java interview questions and you may find the answer is very straightforward that you can tell to the panel that uh, you will going to check the whether the object is null or not before calling its method or f before accessing the field but this is the not the answer the panel is going to expect from you so you should tell give the answer uh, one step forward that you have to uh, explain him that what are the different practices best practices you are being following to uh, to handle these situations and uh, we are going to see the impractical that how we can avoid these null pointer exceptions here and what are the what are the other third party utilities you can use libraries you can use to make to avoid such types of exceptions and make your code more cleaner so let's get on to some practical so i'm going to write one small program to demonstrate the uh, some basics that how we how this exception can arrive and what are the, uh, the strategies you can fo follow so let's create a one simple Java class so I'm going to name that class as avoid null pointer exception say this is our example one and we will be needing the we will require the main methods so I'm going to create keep this program very simple so we are going to create a one string and we are going to put a null value in that so suppose I want to check the substring inside this string so we will be using a core Java simple method that is the contents I want to check a word say for example any word say say word I want to check this word and it's going to give me a boolean value is say keep it as simple say result and say do a sys out here and say the result will be say print out the result since now the str this particular variable has a null value stored so it is going to give us the throw us the exception so it is going to blow up our code so I'm going to run it as a Java standalone program so as you can see over here we got the null pointer exception so simple solution is to before you call the uh, use the any object you must check whether it is it is null or not if it is null then just go for the ignore strategy and do and don't do any type of operations on this so I'm just going to put a if class here say str if the str is not null then you have to perform the operation so I have to move the declaration of the variable just above it about this if statement and we will just print the code but it is giving you some default values you should be assigning to the result so as you can see over here so now if I run this particular program it is not going to give me the error so it will give you the result as the false now this is uh, basically just you have to this is a common approach that uh, you have to check whether the value contain it does it contains the value or not if it contains the value then perform the operation or not do it but if the program is very complex then putting the multiple ifs uh, it's going to be a, a messy code it's going to be a messy code so instead of doing this one can use the say string utils 
class string utils is basically a, a class you will find in the uh, Apache common project so you have to import that jar file into your project I have already done this in the maven I'm going to show you afterwards so in that I'm going to call this a method like contains ignore case so this is basically a contains ignore case is used to check the uh, substring what substring you want to check you have to mention out here from which string and it will give you the uh, true or false value and it is a null saved method so all the methods you will find inside the apache common are basically the null save so you don't have to really think of uh, before checking whether the object whether this object contains a null value or not the internal the apache will handle it for you so i'm going to compare say str and we want to compare let's say this word world and since the result is already declared so no need to declare it again so as you can see over here that i'm not putting any if statement i commented out these two lines now i'm going to run it so as you can see now the i got the uh, result as the false here i'm not getting the null pointer exception so my code is looks uh, cleaner so it won't be the uh, if statement so if the your if the practical program will have a lot of uh, objects and putting a multiple if statement is not definitely a good idea and for the just go for the happy path scenario uh, just wanted to showcase say hello world and it should give a the true value yep there you go so I'm just going to clean it up so this is how you can use the uh, technique like you can use the uh, what do you call is the first simple ignore strategy you can use the if statement but that is not a good practice you can use the third party uh, APIs like Apache common or Google Goa you can lab those libraries you can uh, import it so I just wanted to show you that how you have to import it if you really have the maven projects then this is very straightforward all you need is to put the dependency of the apache common so you have to put insert these two lines so i'm using a, a common apache common language 3 that is the version number 3.7 so you can just import it and import this jar and use it and so yep so some four interesting few more questions related to this area that uh, name of give the name of few methods of common lang which are null safe all these string utils uh, methods whatever you see in the apache common are basically the null safe so you really don't need to do any kind of uh, explicit check and another interesting question is that the will the auto boxing can be used to avoid the null pointer exception uh, it is generally not a good practice to use the inbuilt typecasting feature of the uh, java uh, you should be doing explicitly typecasting because internally in if it is being doing automatically this can lead to a problem of the null pointer exception and next question you may face is that are you using a null object design pattern uh, I'm pretty much sure like if you have worked with the area uh, like connections making the database connections with the uh, JDBC uh, in that when you fire any type of query especially the select query which returns the rec result record set or the if you want to traverse it from one record to another you have to call the next method but before calling the next method you really need to check does we have the next record so what for that we have to use the another function has next so that is a kind of an example of the a null object design pattern so you may explain your the to the panel that what are the uh, different null object design pattern you have developed and whatever are inbuilt 
uh, how you have used this and you can tell with the examples so i hope you, you will find this video useful enough so stay tuned and subscribe don't forget to subscribe this channel uh, to get the notification of further such videos thanks for watching